spoke to Martin a few times in the last year or so maybe and just met up with him a couple of times and, and I didn't know until Saturday morning I was in the squad really. Martin called me up on the way to training basically and, and he says he was bringing me in so um, delighted to be here of course. Feels, feels a bit weird this morning coming out here and meeting all the lads again and, and being back at the hotel and but it's a great buzz to be here. You know, delighted to be flying in last night into Dublin again and, and just to be back involved with the squad, which is great. You you were saying to the lads there that you had a sense of unfinished business or that you wanted to sort of uh, at least come back into the squad and yeah. make some kind of an impact. What, what What's the sort of thoughts that you have in your head about that? Well, I just feel I've still got enough to offer. You know, I've not worked with Martin before. And, you know, Martin wants me to come in and train as well. He'll probably have a look at me a bit more. and. You know, hopefully I can show to them that I'm still good enough to be playing and stuff, and and and, and playing for 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 Ireland. You know, which is a great honour, of course. It, it's always been the case. You know, you you love playing for your country, and and um, you know, hopefully I can help, be it playing or be it you know supporting the other guys, and supporting the outfield players. Just just my experience, hopefully, will will help and rub off on the on the rest of the guys as well. You played in a World Cup, European Championship. Is that something that you feel uh, this group of players can achieve again? Well, we hope so. You know, we've got a tough draw, of course, and we know it's not going to be easy. But um, we're looking forward to it. Of course, the big games kicks off on Sunday. You know, the friendlies are will be out of the way after for Wednesday game, and we're looking forward to to getting getting off. Hopefully, to a good start. You know, we need to get, try and get off to a one against Georgia and, and and get the get the campaign up and running. It's going to be a tough game, of course, but. You know, there's a lot of young players who have not qualified before here and experienced players who have before and I think it's a good mixture, a good blend of players that, you know, hopefully we can do that. We did so well to qualify for Euro 2012, but the games, obviously, we got as tough a group as you yeah. possibly could with two yeah. of the finals. Yeah. Is that part of your thinking that maybe get to that stage again and, and sort of get over group maybe? Yeah, well, we, we the first sort of achievement you want to get is to qualify because, you know, we're second seeds in the draw, but we got two tough opponents after we Poland and Scotland and obviously Germany being the world champions and you know the draw has not been too kind but the draw is what it is and we've got to you know go out there now and, and, and show the people we're good enough to qualify and we'll talk about the European Championships after that if we qualify but all focus all energy has got to be on on the Georgia game on Sunday and and um, you know we, we don't get look to the game after that or any further forward and, and everyone's got to be ready for for the game as, as I'm sure we will we'll prepare well all week we've obviously got the game against Oman on, on Wednesday which will be good to get us all together in a match situation and then you know we roll on to, to Sunday out in Georgia. Obviously you're only in, in here, you're hardly even a couple of hours yeah. <laughs> mixing with everyone again but what kind of vibe do you get uh, amongst the group? Yeah, no it's a good vibe as I say, that some of the lads are taking the mickey a bit out of me this morning, thought they'd never see me again but um, you know now some friendly faces, obviously lots of faces that that have played with before here and, and some new ones as well, it'd be nice to get to know them as well so but no, it's a good vibe around the ones. Everyone's, you know, excited for the week ahead, and and as I say, it's it's building up to the big game. Over the last couple of years, uh, in the last qualifying campaign, our away record was actually really good. Yeah. What do you think was the sort of secret behind it? I don't know. We 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 just we just need to keep that going really the away form and 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 obviously try and get as many ones as we can at home as well. But. There's no secret behind it. It's just, it's just hard work, organisation, and, and, and a good bunch of players really to, to get the results. And 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 the great fans, obviously, you know, hopefully they'll be behind us all the way as well as as they always have been. And and you know, we'll need them as well. And just like obviously, some guys are still around. Robbie Keane still hugely yeah. influential, scoring goals at this level yeah. is going to be critical. You, are you pleased to see that? Someone like him yeah. is still on the scene. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think he's back in tonight. You know, he made a game for Galaxy yesterday and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, Robbie's our captain. He's our leading goal scorer. He's a, he's our sort of mainstay of the team. He's our figurehead really, and and everyone looks up to him. You know, so you know, it's great. He's still he's still coming over, and 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 you know, he's still got lots to offer, which is which is the most important thing. And you, you mentioned the fans there. Uh, how important do you think the support of the Irish public will yeah. be if you're going to get there? Yeah, well, they've been massive, as I say, from all my career with Ireland and even in Poland recently. They're voted the best fans in the, in the whole tournament. You know, they, they're fantastic support, and you know, it's you can say that lightly, you know, but it's it's, it's genuine that they are really, you know, our 12th man. It's it's so important that they get right behind the team as they always done. You know, I wonder if they stand here and, and tell them what to do because they they. They give their support always, you know, and, and they're so important, you know, through the whole campaign.